Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's pull some cards, messages from your angels. Let's see what area of your life they want you to focus on that they are helping you with right now. Cancer Collective, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't flip the rules if you need to. Could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you. I am picking up on. So we have moon water. Okay. I just saw a gnat. Oh, that's a monitoring spirit. Uh-uh. Get out of here. So we have moon water reset. Number 32. Okay. Hmm. Who trying to spy on me? Number 32. Moon water is the four of swords, which is about rest, rejuvenation, a time to catch your breath, peace and quiet. Okay, so this is about clearing, reset, renew, and start from the beginning with reflection here. This is Libra energy. Somebody could be born in the year 88 or 89, or those numbers could be significant for one reason or another, and someone could be 32 years old. So moon water is made by placing a jar or a jar of water or a jug of water where it will capture the moon's rays overnight and be charged by the moon's energy. Crystals or herbs can be added to the water. It can be used in sprays, added to a bath, or used in rituals and spells to infuse your workings with money. Why did I say money? I must say money on the mind. Um, with moon energy. The most popular phase for making moon water is the full moon because of its clearing and renewing properties. The full moon brings about clarity and illumination and marks the beginning of the waning phases of the moon during which you are encouraged to reflect and find more rest and nourishment. The glow of the moon water has come into your reading to encourage you to take time to reset and perhaps to start once again. Your soul is what? To start again once your soul is refreshed. You are entering a period of pause and repose. Now is not a good time to start anything new. Instead, focus on self-care and conserving your energy. You will be grateful for the for this time later when you enter a new cycle of action and creativity that may not allow for much downtime. Remember that every period of action needs a complementary period of stillness. It is in the slowness that your needs are revealed and you can find, oh, here's another one or the same one. Come on now. Interrupting my reading. It is in the slow the slowness, slowness that your needs are revealed and you can find clarity about your next steps. Who is trying to monitor me? Because now I can't even talk. I just had to say a prayer real quick, y'all. The more literal guidance of this card is to do some physical clean, cleansing with the element of your choice. Smoke, fire, earth, and of course, moon water are all excellent ways to clear stagnant energy and renew the spirit. So I'm going to read these companion cards, even though I'm not pulling companion cards, but I'll just tell you what they say anyway. So we have enter at your own risk. This is a clear no. This is, a, this is not something you should move forward with. Then we have invocations. A change in your perspective is needed. Then we have bathing in the river. The message of self-care is amplified. So you're being encouraged to not do something, not move forward with something. You need to take a sacred pause and wait until your intuition tells you it's time to make a move. Right now, focus on self-care and some downtime. Okay. Let's see why you pulled that. What else do they want you to know? <clears throat> I don't feel like I should. I was supposed to take either one of those. They come out again, I'll take them, but I just want one card. So, Spirit, please just give me one card for cancer. Thank you. Oh, no, that's two. I want to take both of them. We have the star mother. How can you mother yourself? Yeah, you need to nurture yourself. Then we have trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Yeah, so that's something that your intuition is trying to tell you, but it needs you to be quiet and still. And it also needs you're being advised here by your angels, your guides, to take time to care for yourself. Some of you give so much love to other people, you don't make yourself a priority. They want you to because this is the way they're going to be able to communicate with you. Some of you, this could even be your mother who's your guide if your mother has crossed over. Okay, let's see why you pull these cards. So they're telling you not to do something right now. They want you to be still. What's going on here, Spirit? 
What's going on for my cancers? My cancerians. What's going on for cancer? What are the messages for cancer? We have immediate action, number 25. Something is coming up that requires your immediate action, so take control of the situation. See, this is why I was telling you that you need, you need to take a break right now because the floodgates are about to open. It feels good, though. Something that's going to cause you to have to think on your feet like this. And you won't be able to do that if you're already burned out. So this is like you have to kind of like store up some energy. So we have rebuild your life. Number 56, leaving a relationship can be devastating. Attract the love that you desire. For some of you, wow, this might be you coming out of a relationship. Some of you be, could be contemplating leaving a relationship and rebuilding your life. We have cold water therapy. Have you tried the Wim Hof method? Number 53. Now, I don't have this book out. I guess I should get this book out so I can read what that means. We have The Veil is Thinning, number 33. See, some of you, your high priestess is here. Yeah, you are definitely showing up as a high priestess, queen of cups energy, which is both cancer energy. So, yeah, your angels and guys are right here. Call on your angels and guys. They can see that you need help. Number three. Wow. Now, number three is the empress. For some of you, your mother is showing up here. Okay, so the veil is thinning is be open to receiving light codes from source. The light is more powerful than the dark. There's something about you getting these intuitive hits, nudges, downloads, divine downloads. Your guides, your angel spirit is trying to communicate with you, but it's like you have to get quiet in order to hear it. They're going to light the way for you in a certain situation. You could be seeing 333. Because 333 is back to back right there. I'm going to get angel numbers for you at the end, but hold on, y'all. I got to get the book because I want to read this. Okay, y'all. Now I got to figure out which book it's in. So this is the gold. So these are the silver ones. So number 53. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is not the right book. I guess it's this one. Oh, wow. I'll turn right to the page. How crazy. Number 146, 147 could be significant. Or the number 53, because I turn right to it. <clears throat> okay, you can improve your mental and physical health by, dra by braving the icy water, whether it is a dip in the cold ocean or some time under a cold shower. We were born to withstand hardship and to thrive being uncomfortable. Human beings aren't meant to always be in a, a warm and cuddly environment. Is your temperature, is your favorite temperature 23 degrees Celsius? And do you do everything in your power to stay out of the cold wind or cold water? Your challenge is to study the Wim Hof method and start with five seconds of cold water after your warm shower on your half, I'm sorry, on half your body and work your way up to a second or two a day. Huh. You should see your mood improve after a week to 10 days. Cold water immersion has been practiced for thousands of years and has huge mental and physical benefits. This is a natural way to improve your mood. A dip in the cold ocean will also invigorate you and improve your mental health. Ice bathing is becoming popular. The Wim Hof method, I'm sorry, breathing technique also has huge health benefits. Google Wim Hof, okay, whatever. Alternative meanings is research benefits of having a hot sauna. Travel, go and see how other people live to get a different perspective on life. So there's something about your perspective needing to change, but that's going to require for you to actually kind of like come out of, of a comfort zone. Metaphorically, um, I'm seeing like this cold water as like a shock to your system. So there's something about you like coming out of your comfort zone. For some of you, this might be very uncomfortable, but I feel like making yourself your number one priority is the most important thing because the, the veil is thinning and something is being revealed to you and it feels like it starts with self-care. Self-care is just being highlighted and listening to your intuition. So let's see why you pull these cards. What are you going to need to take immediate action on? For some of you, it could be leaving a relationship. I don't know. Let's see. Your intuition is telling you something, though. We have the Ace of Pentacles. There could be a new job, new car, new home. For some of you, um, something tangible is coming in that's going to require you to take action here. We have the Five of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. So I am seeing a little bit of hateration going on, some jealousy going on, okay? 
in this dance or read. All right, so we have Sagittarius and we have Aquarius. And I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Maybe there's a Sagittarius involved. We have Virgo and Aquarius energy showing up here. I'm seeing some of you be in the spotlight. I'm seeing some of you get some type of success here, enjoying the fruits of your labor. Financial stability is being highlighted here with the Ace and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that's a stable job offer or something coming in. Or some of you have overnight success coming towards you, but there feels like some conflict or some jealousy or drama around you. Possibly within Aquarius. What is this energy? Who's being messy? Or some of you, you could be self-sabotaging if you don't take immediate action. So for some of you, you need to be well-rested so you can take the appropriate action because you could miss an opportunity. Yeah, the five of wands. There's a lot of jealousy around you. Jesus. An Aquarius or a Leo person, somebody is a hater. Or there could be a lot of competition, but you come out victorious, especially if you have a job opportunity. Let me get two more. So now we have the four of wands. You get success. <laughs> you come out victorious. There's a new home here for some of you. Somebody could be closing on a house. For some reason, I felt like writing that out this morning. I wrote that out on a card. Somebody could be closing on a home. This could also be a twin flame. You could be saying 1111. Now, I'm going to tell you all like I didn't tell Taurus because 1111 came out for Taurus. That could be your angel number. Okay. And that is Aries energy. 1111 on the timer right now. Yeah. So even if it doesn't come out as your angel number, it just showed up on the clock. The timer. What's the four of wands? This could be a soulmate coming in, y'all. Somebody very financially stable and like building something on the solid ground with the four of wands and the ace of pentacles. That's a lot of solid ground. This is like laying roots with someone, y'all. Some of y'all are getting to a relationship with someone and there are other people trying to compete for their time and their energy or yours. But it's like you two belong together. There's a sense of belonging here. Yep, the sun. Wow, everybody got the sun. I love it. And I love it, especially with the A8, I mean, the um, Lionsgate portal today. Wow. Number 19, the sun. Leo energy. You could be on a Cancer Leo cusp. You got either a happy relationship coming in or some kind of good news that makes you happy when it comes to a home or you like laying roots somewhere. This could be employment. This could be everything coming in. And it feels like it's coming in quickly because it says that something is coming that requires your immediate attention. Take control of the situation. Rebuilding your life. Some of you could be starting over and meeting someone brand new after someone else hurt you. Leaving a relationship can be devastating. Seven of Pentacles. Something is not worth the investment anymore, possibly with a Taurus or a seven-year relationship. For some of you, seven-year age difference. Six of Wands. Yeah, there's somebody here that's not. Mm -mm, they've fallen from grace. A Leo or a Taurus for some of you. Some of you just broke up with someone over the last six days. Yeah, you're attracting the love that you deserve right over here. So listen, you need to watch out for a Leo, an Aries, a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn person coming towards you with a very solid, stable offer. You may have already met them. What's going on with this breakup? You could be dealing with somebody who's like very arrogant, very self-centered in the past. Wow, everything is flipping in reverse. You had a queen of pentacles. You no longer care about this person. You're not investing in them. 13, 13, 13 was just on the timer. Could be a Capricorn, your sister sign. Wow, somebody could be very superficial. Hmm. What's the queen of pentacles in reverse? Very materialistic, entitled. Thank you, owe them something. Mm -mm. Also promiscuous, jealous. Ten of Cups. So your Ten of Cups is, it says you're attracting the love you deserve. You have your Ten of Cups coming in, possibly with a Pisces person. Or some of you are already married to someone here, but you could be going through a breakup or divorce with someone that you really did care for. And you probably still have some love for, especially if you have children with them. I am seeing two children here. So um, I'm seeing pregnancy for some of you too. Mm. Yeah, some of you are about to have a baby or about to conceive a baby that's going to be like very special, very gifted. And you're this is going to be like your little small best friend. <laughs> What's this cold water therapy? Have you tried the Wim Hof method? It feels like shock to the system. Why are you being told to use this? I feel like you're coming out of a comfort zone. Oh, the Hierophant. Yeah, that can be a comfort zone. Taurus energy or marriage or a social group or something here. What's what's the Hierophant? The Hermit. Wow, two majors. So we have Taurus and Virgo energy. 
Some of you are not speaking to someone that you were married to or in a long-term re uh, relationship with. The Hierophant is a high level of commitment. Let's see. Some of you are also on the search for your divine counterpart, and they're coming. Wow. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's someone here you're no longer attracted to, and that's why you got this cold water therapy. Somebody even threw cold water on this hot, fiery um, connection and extinguished it, okay? So yeah, it could have been a shock to your system. This could definitely be a breakup, somebody being very promiscuous. I'm seeing a very promiscuous person here, y'all. A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo for some of you. Yeah, there's no attraction to someone anymore with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Something has lost its steam, its fire, it's fizzled out, it's burned out, and somebody is promiscuous. You're not talking to this person. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This was a long-term relationship, y'all. Some of you have been really slow to move away from this person, but you've been doing some soul searching, Virgo energy, and I feel like you are slowly but surely making your way out of it, or you already have. It says the veil is thinning. Your angels and guys are trying to encourage you to walk away from an unfulfilling, unsatisfying um, relationship here. That's only if that's your story. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you feel very defensive. Leo energy. And then we have the reader. That could be me. I don't know. Some of y'all are getting readings. And here you are. It's the Queen of Cups right here. Mothering yourself. And this could also be your mother showing up. Yeah, to support you because you've been betrayed. Yep. Somebody you have a lot of history with. And some of you are meeting someone new at work. That could be a Scorpio or Gemini person that really betrayed you or hurt you. And that could be, oh, your divine counterpart is coming, baby. It could be a Capricorn or an Aries person, somebody that is like ready to take care of you. They want a traditional relationship. The emperor is someone accountable, unlike this past person. This is your divine masculine coming in. Wow. They could be older than you. This person is at least 40 years old, but I would say even maybe upwards of 50. Because I feel like some of you are in like your 30s, your 40s, possibly your 50s. And this person is a little bit older than you. They could be a boss. They could be a supervisor at your job or something like that. I don't know. But that is what I am seeing. This is your divine counterpart coming in, baby. You started with the um, Hierophant energy and the High Priestess energy. So that to me is the most important yeah, I see these. I mean, even though it's, it's not listed as the Hierophant, I mean, the High Priestess, that's exactly what it is. So this is like your divine counterpart. I feel like they are more potent. That connection is more potent and more special than even the Emperor and the Empress. But some of you could even have two masculines coming towards you. Wow, my phone just went off. Confirmation. So yeah, or for some of you, there's just a marriage that you're leaving, a long-term relationship you're leaving, and someone much better is coming in. So yep. Prepare for a lot of good changes. I feel like you're going to have to ride these waves, go with the flow, you know. But this is very good energy. Let's get some angel numbers for you. Angel numbers for Cancer Spirit. What are the angel numbers for Cancer? Somebody's name could be Alex. Oh, Cynthia, I heard. Samantha. Stephanie. Vera. Okay, so we have 0110 belief system. Oh my God, y'all. The Hierophant. Go after what you want. Unique destiny, inspiration, talents, gifts, appreciation, and gratitude. You're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. Mm -mm. Beautiful. And this does make me think about when it talked about a reset. Um, 1111 is a good reset number. 000 is a good reset number. But zeros and ones are like the motherboard of the computer and the language that the universe speaks in. Zeros and ones. Right? Interesting. Somebody could be very computer literate, work with um, technology, IT, or something like that. Or use technology in whatever kind of way. Somebody's name could be Nakia, Nakita, or something like that. Natalie, Natasha, Barbara, or like Barbie. Somebody's name could be Barbie. Okay, so we have I Am Intuitive. Wow. 
It says trust the niggle and that is intuition. What is your sixth sense? Your gut feelings telling you. You have keen awareness of what is happening around you and you do because the veil is thinning. Yeah. Okay, so it says a strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others. This insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter. I am intuitive is your affirmation. So let me tell y'all something right now. Somebody's name could be Casey or Cassie. Um, or Capri, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, yeah, I feel like if this hasn't happened yet with the media action being here, some of you don't see something coming when it comes to a relationship. Somebody that you might not be trusting, you might be getting confirmation about this person doing something they ain't got no business doing, and you might be making a snap decision to just leave with this cold water therapy. I just get shocked to the system, but it's not really that shocking because you intuitively know you're a cancer. Of course, you intuitively know the veil is thinning. Something is coming to light, and you can have an ancestor or a guide that's trying to reveal something to you about a lover. Again, 333 three, three showing up here. Um, I saw something yesterday. I don't know where I was online and I saw where someone said, I think it was one of these TikTok like scary story kind of videos that I watch sometimes. And somebody was saying that their husband was cheating on them and their loved one revealed it in a dream. That happened to me too. Mm -hmm. I had a loved one pass away and not long after they passed away, they came to me, just their voice. And they were like, he's cheating. And I, I, I called he at work and I said, hey, he, let me tell you something. If you are, I just got word that you are. I'm not going to go looking for nothing. When it's meant to fall in my lap, it'll fall in my lap. And lo and behold, like one, two, three, four, it fell in my lap. Yeah, your steps are ordered. Crazy because one, two, three, four is, tra is transposed. 2134 was just on the timer. Wow. Look at this. I'm going to read this. Good luck. Spirit guides, progress, justice, structure, systems processes conditioning and rules you are on the right track someone from the other side has your back yes it feels like a mother um, and encourages you to try your best you will succeed observe your surroundings and communicate clearly be sure that everything will fall into place i'm sorry everything will fall to pieces listen trust trust the process something is about to be revealed to you about somebody that ain't right if some of y'all are into the moon water ritual knock yourselves out you don't even have to do all of this but they may want you to since that card came out. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. The veil is standing. Somebody about to be exposed. Mm -hmm. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Peace, y'all.